that on that beat. Let's go. Oh, ooh, ooh, no masterpiece. Oh, ten bad bad ten they up to me. Hello, everybody. This is my full-length review of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I posted a short review on my channel uh, about a week ago, and it got a lot of views. So I thought, why don't I make a full view, express my full thoughts? So the first thing I thought about it was, should this movie have been rated R? And I explained that in my short review. I said I thought, it's okay if it's PG-13 because it's like thriller, trying to survive. However, while I'm okay with PG-13, I do think it could have worked as an R-rated movie. Am I mad that it's not R-rated? No. I think it worked out just fine. However, they could have made a great movie with it being rated R. And many people are mad, like critics, not fans of the game, but critics are mad that it was PG-13 because it held back what the movie could have been. Although I'm not like that. I'm fine that it was PG-13. It worked out. It was a good movie. Okay, so the set design. The set design is one that hasn't been talked about very much. I really loved the set design of this movie. The Five Nights at Freddy's Place is just astonishing. I, I loved every bit of it. That is a very underrated aspect of this movie. And the animatronics. The animatronics were designed really well. All of them. They were all designed really well. They're designed by the Jim Henson Creature Shop. So, Jim Henson Creature Shop, you did something good. Good job, guys. So, is there anything not so good about this movie? I didn't... I've never played the games. I played it on my PC a couple times. But that has been it. And I've never made it past the first night. But I don't know a lot of the lore. So... I can't really tell you much about that. However, there were some things that were unexpected at times. And for the most part, it worked out. But there are sometimes it's like, yeah, maybe this didn't really work. But that's okay. That is very excusable. It is also very slow. Like, there are some points I started drifting off. It was moving a bit slowly. Although, that is also excusable. The musical score, the score of this movie was outstanding. The Newton Brothers cooked. This was one of the best musical scores I've seen in a horror movie. I like the one in Smile, I like the one in The Menu, and I like this one as well. The acting was pretty good. It, the acting isn't talked about very much, but I liked Lillard's acting. I like Hutcherson's acting a lot. Even the little girl, she did a nice job acting too. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was her first feature film. And if it is, you did a good job. Piper Rubio was her name, I believe. Good job, Piper Rubio. Um, the other actors do a pretty good job. Um, so now, one more thing I might touch on the storyline. Um, the one about Garrett, it was unexpected, even for um for players of the Five Nights at Freddy's game. However, I liked it. That was one of the unexpected parts that worked out. I liked it. It gave me something to pay attention to. It gave me something to really think about as the movie went on. Although they didn't really resolve it. We like we don't know what happened to Garrett. Like he obviously got killed, but what animatronic is he in? That is a question that I don't think was answered. It would be really cool if we knew the answer to that. Also, the one with Aunt Jane and trying to take possession of Abby. Um, that was also unexpected, but I think it works out on its own. Um, it, it was great. Um, the whole storyline of Aunt Jane trying to take away Abby from Mike, I th initially thought that mm, this isn't great, but at the end, there's a whole lesson that Mike needs to forget about Garrett. Well, he doesn't need to forget about Garrett, but he needs to move on from Garrett and start taking care of Abby a bit more, which I do like that, and I do appreciate that. However, um, a couple things that I, this will probably be the final thing I touch on. Um, Max's death. 
and all the others' deaths. Like, wouldn't the police have found out? Or something like that. I get it. It's a movie. It's unrealistic. Stuff like that doesn't happen. But, I mean, you need a little bit of that. Like, we don't really visit and revisit Max after her death. Like, wouldn't it be like, oh, the Vanessa comes by Mike and tells, yeah, Max was killed at Five Nights at Freddy's. Or no, at Fa Freddy's Fazbear's. Also, Aunt Jane. Like, won't, wouldn't they know? I mean, yeah, they're probably happy she died. She was a... Yeah, she was a real insert name here. You you pick. But I, I thought that'd be resolved. Like, oh no, Aunt Jane was killed. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go back, refer to another Blumhouse movie earlier in the year. Megan. I saw Megan. I liked this movie more. But when I saw Megan, I was glad that a lot of the little things, like a lot of the deaths in that movie, were resolved. And every little storyline was resolved. And I would like that to be the case for this movie. Now, I better be careful because they're probably saving some of it for a sequel. Which, I really do hope they come out with a sequel. It would be great if they came out for a sequel. If they came out with a sequel for this movie. I would definitely go watch it. So, at the end of the day, this was a good movie. I highly suggest you go watch it. I'm going to give this one... A strong 7 out of 10. And it's probably in the top of the movies I've watched this year. So that is my full review of this movie. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please wait for my next movie review. Which will either be Thanksgiving or The Hunger Games Bow to Songbirds and Snakes. I can't wait for both of those movies. I will see you then.